Hey, and welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to show you our chicken coop and our run. First, we'll start with the chicken coop. Let's go inside. So our coop is quite large. Uh, we built it this way so that we'd have extra room for storage. So we can put our oyster shells, shavings, extra food, and all the chicken supplies that we need. This is our automatic watering system. We have five nipples for 17 chickens. This is our Lorex security camera to monitor the coop. We bought a large thermometer so that we could view it from the camera. So in our other video, we shared that we used the deep litter method. We did that for a while. Now we use pine shavings and we do uh, probably two inches on the bottom. And then we just use a shovel and just scoop it out every couple days. And then we also do you know, a big clean every month or two, depending on how dirty it gets. So we noticed that there's a lot of flies when we have chickens, so we bought this fly tape. It's very inexpensive and cost effective and the flies just stick to it and you replace it every couple months or so. This is our homemade PVC chicken feeder made out of PVC pipe and we can fit a 40 pound bag of feed in the top. We have eight nesting boxes for 17 chickens at the moment. <laughs> we'll probably get more. This is our clean out and our exterior door to collect the eggs. This is our chicken nipple overflow. We have it on a timer on the hose and every day it goes off at the same time, slowly drains into the nipples and then the excess water goes in the garden. So ventilation is really important. So we've added two vents on this side, two vents on the other side. And my husband's gonna add little covers just to close them up in the winter time, just to keep the heat in. And then in the summer, let the cool air out. And then we've also added a bottom vent just to open and close like so. We may add more ventilation later on. So we use two by four inch metal wire fencing, five feet high. We added colored string across and down our run, just a bit of predator prevention. This is our omelet auto door. It's battery operated and it can be used on a light sensor setting or a time setting. This is the control panel that's super easy and user friendly. The link for the auto omelet auto door is in the description below. When we planned this area, we decided that this was the best place for the chickens to be. There's lots of stumps and plants for them to hide underneath. Uh, there's also a dust bath area where they can clean themselves off. Chickens get parasites and fleas and mites and all that kind of thing. So it's good to have an area dedicated for them having a bath. Chickens can be destructive, so make sure you put them in an area where you don't care about your plants and that sort of thing. They wrecked our garden, so <laughs> just a heads up. If you enjoyed this video and love to see chickens and more homesteading content, you could subscribe to our channel. It would help us out. Thank you very much for watching. Get to her.